Okay, in this part, guys, we're going to show you real quick where we're at. We are going to take out the hitch here that we have. And we have the heavy-duty springs already in here, but we're going to change this out and we're going to put in these new Airlift 5000s. So we'll show you that in a minute. But what we're going to do is kind of show you from here where we're at now. So when you look at the truck, we are about 36 and a half inches on the front. And this is with only the stuff that we added in the front. And then in the front, we are 40 inches. So our truck, as you guys can see, is squatting again after adding an enclosed trailer on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this out and add the airbags on it and see what the difference is. And we'll show you the beginning here. And then we'll show you how much height that we changed out with all this in there. And then we'll load our side-by-sides that are destroyed over here into there. And then we'll show you the difference of how we can adjust it. Giving you a quick rundown of where we're at. So what we did on this side is we jacked it up. We lifted up, the, took out our heavy duty spring, which is sitting right over here. That's our tough spring. We just took it out, took it out, and then right up top, there's a bumper stop, which looks like this. That's right here. So we took a sawzall, we just cut it straight off like this, and then we dropped that out of the way. We're gonna come right here and just grind it flat. So if you look down below, there's a little bit left over. We're just gonna grind that down flat, drill out our bolts from this, and then we're gonna put them together like we did on the other side. So. When you, they're pretty easy to install because um, you're gonna put some bolts down through here at the bottom, two through here to hold them through, and then you're gonna put drill out two holes here, put one in the bottom, and that should be it for the screws. They lock underneath so they'll hold in place. So that's about it, guys. We cut that off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we took the spring out, we cut it off just for it's a lot easier. We just took a pry bar, propped it out because everything is off the ground. We got a jack over here, a jack over there. So what we're gonna do guys is once we get it back together is we're gonna put the shock back in here once we get all this set in place so we can put the top together. And I'll show you what I mean on the other side. So you guys can see it locks underneath the frame here. Put two bolts in here, tighten them down. And then we're gonna take this and lift it up. We don't wanna pull on it too much yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a spring back in right here, and then, cause we got the two screws in here, and then we got the one in the bottom, and then we got our little set screw in the middle. And that's all we have, guys. Pretty simple install. Um, takes about an hour and a half or so, maybe, and that's setting up and breaking down. So we'll show you guys some more once it's done. We'll show you the difference in the ride height, but yeah. So all you're gonna, the main part is taking the shock out of the way, so you can put these two bolts in, you're gonna cut off that bumper stop we just showed you. Put the bra bracket together. Everything in this is pretty much a self-install, easy install. So put the two through there, tighten them down, blah, 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 and you guys are done. We'll show you some more. Well, we are all wrapped up with this, and we're gonna give you guys the measurements, kind of show you what we did. We didn't do an install video because there's like 50 million of them out there. So this is the air lift system, the 5000 Unlimited Plus. The reason we went with this one, because this one has a bumper stop, and that was the one thing we cut out, and if this one fails, then the bumper stop will be the same as normal. But we're going to show you what we did here. We took off the leveling system that we have there, and those are on the ground. The hitch is off the ground, and we only put 50 pounds of pressure in them, so we still got another 50 if we want to. So we're going to come to the back of the truck and show you. We were at 36 last time. Now we are at 30 right around 39 and in the front we're still right around 40 so with no stabilizing hitch on here just the airbags on the system we were able to put it up another three inches and if we want to we still got 50 pounds of pressure to play with but we're going to try it right here now we'll make sure that we are leveled out and all done but as you guys can see we raised ourselves up three inches in the back and took off the leveling hitch system. So that was a big improvement. The ride is hopefully gonna be a lot better, but we definitely recommend getting these right here, guys, the airlift system. They're about 500 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link down below, but appreciate you guys for stopping here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick video and the quick review of these. If we have a problem with them, we'll repost another video, but we don't think we will. See you guys in the next one.